For those who missed out on the messages on our Twitter and YouTube channel, there was a bit of a scare at the office yesterday, as our main work PC developed a rather nasty bug. Thankfully, everything was recovered and we're back in business today. So, let's hop into the Friday News Wrap-Up for the 1st of June, 2012. Squids is a hard game to describe. Part physics puzzler, part turn-based tactical game, and part RPG. It ticks all of the boxes to make it fun and seriously addictive. Oh, and did I mention there's plenty of hats? The upcoming sequel, Squids Wild West, is shooting to release this summer, and those who own the original can download a three-level example of what to expect right now. The only question on our lips is whether Wild West takes things a step forward, or simply reskins the already amazing original. We previously covered the upcoming title, The Other Brothers, on our wrap-up, and the developer Top Game has finally released an early peek at what we can expect. So far, the gameplay looks very rough, sticking to the very basics of platforming, but it does give a good glimpse at how the game looks in action. There's no information on its release date as yet, and reports of previous collaborator Dot Bunny attempting to block its distribution are so far unfounded. The news of Swedish developer Mediocre working on a new title is enough to get me excited. Their previous release, Sprinkle, was simply incredible, using detailed fluid physics to solve various puzzles. The company has turned their attention to something quite different, however, with Granny Smith following a roller skating granny attempting to collect apples before the thief does. Featuring 80 levels across four themed worlds, the game is packed with interesting features, including a replay system to see if you can improve on your times. Granny Smith is expected to hit the App Store during August. Honestly, if there's any game that's deserving credit over the last week, it's N-Fusion and Chilingo's wonderfully casual flying title, Airmail. Playing as Scoop, it's an absolute doddle thanks to the tilt and touch controls, but each level is packed with secrets, making it more about exploration than fancy flying. Still, if you want a challenge, you can always switch on an advanced mode, unlocking the ability to pull off new stunts in the process. Airmail is a joy to play and a great pickup for fans of games like Pilot Wings. Apologies for the brief wrap-up, as you can imagine, with the aforementioned computer problems, we're short on time today. But we'll be back on Monday with plenty of reviews to keep you up to date with what's on the App Store. To make sure you're not left behind, subscribe to our channel or hit us up on Facebook or Twitter. Have a great weekend. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.